It starts about probably three weeks, maybe a month, before our outdoor mass. I check the uh, three week or four week weather forecast for that day. And you know how reliable those things are, really good. And I start to worry. Oh, so for a month from now, it's gonna rain. So I start to make preparations in my head about what we're gonna do for the outdoor mass if it rains. So I do that. And then, you know, three or four days later, it'll say sunny with 0% chance of rain. And then I get all excited and I throw those plans away. And then, you know, a week later I'll check and then it'll say 75% chance of rain, heavy thunderstorms. And then I like get upset again and I start to worry. And this lasts for, again, three weeks, a month. And I do this, I'll check it every day. We are obsessed. Jesus knows. We are obsessed with the weather. How many of you looked at the weather before you went outside to put a coat on or whatever today, right? You couldn't just step outside and feel it. We need to check. He knows we are obsessed with these things. Okay, it's all right to, to look at these things and wonder what's the weather like or try to plan. But when it comes to eternal life, And the things that we do here that impacts eternal life. Why do we not check with our Savior and what he might say about potential decisions we make? Why do we kind of just wing it? I know I do. Why do I willy-nilly make a decision that will impact eternal life for me? Jesus is so awesome. He tells us this is the way follow it. And yet I will so willingly not listen to him. I would never plan an outdoor event and not check the weather. Ever. It would be irresponsible. And yet when it comes to my life and choosing a sin, I'll say, well, Jesus, I'm going to decide this on my own. See how backwards this is? Brothers and sisters, Jesus lays the way out for us. He gives us, this is why we come to Mass, this is why we study the faith, so that we know what he's telling us, the way to eternal life. He lays it out. There is no mystery about the path. Let's desire to choose it, and in those moments, desire to see how our Savior and what path our Savior wants us to follow so that we can be with him forever. And not just willy-nilly push it aside. The stakes for weather, the stakes for eternal life, which one seems greater to you? Praise be Jesus Christ, King of the universe, now and forever.